We do whatever it takes to party. <laughs> Cartoon Network's 20th birthday. And to celebrate, we're throwing a party all month long. The biggest party ever! Your favorite characters. Your favorite shows. Watch each weekend on Cartoon Network, then go online to vote. Your votes will be counted, and your favorites will be shown during our 20th birthday party celebration. This is the best birthday ever. Cartoon Network's birthday party. All this month on Cartoon Network. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, something's wrong with my phone. Charlton, so, what'd you do to it? I just dropped it one or two times. One or two times? Yeah, what's wrong with it, dude? Hey, guys, looky there. The news is on. <gasps> Breaking news, okay? The car that Tupac Shakur was shot in was sold for $1.2 million. Damn, R.I.P. Tupac. Yeah, rest in paradise, big homie. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Guys, that car sold for $1.2 million just because that guy got killed in it? Th that guy, Junior, that guy is Pac. Yeah, Mr. All Eyes on Me. Yeah, double P.A.C. 32's up, not your shoes up, bitch. Yeah, Cody knows what I'm talking about. Shit, I gotta pour one out for a homie. Yeah, this one's for Pac, what? and this one's for Biggie, and this one's for XXX, yeah, and Juice World, and Nipsey Hussle, and Magnolia Shorty, and Lil Snoop, an old dirty bastard, and Bankroll Fresh, oh, and DMX, and Pop Smoke, and King Von, and Young Dolph, oh, and I can't forget Takeoff, that one hit home, and Pee Wee Herman. I mean, I know he wasn't a rapper, but damn, oh, I'll pour this whole thing out for Pee Wee. But go ahead. Go get a towel and clean that up! Sorry, Junior, it's just a lot of dead homies. Oh, water everywhere. All right, Junior, I cleaned it up. Respect, Cody. Shit, you ain't gotta tell me nothing. I lived it, I bend it. Guys, I still can't believe that car sold for over a million dollars just because Tupac died in it. Well, yeah, Junior, it's a piece of hip-hop history. Yeah, he's famous, dude. Wait a minute, guys. I just got an idea. What if we go buy a really cheap car, and then we get a celebrity to die in it, and we can sell it for millions of dollars? <gasps> That's a genius idea! Why didn't I think of that? Junior, I think that might be the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard you say. You're only saying that, Cody, because you didn't think of it first. No, I'm saying that because it's stupid. How is it stupid? Okay, let me walk you through it. You want us, a bunch of kids, to buy a car, which we can't afford, and then get a celebrity, who we don't know, to get in the car, and then we murder them. <gasps> I never said murder. Did I say murder, Joseph? No, I didn't hear murder, dude. Cody, we're not gonna murder the celebrity. The celebrity's gonna die of natural causes. We do nothing wrong. Well, how are we gonna get him to die of natural causes? We get a very old celebrity. Okay, let me go back through it again. You want us to buy a car, which we can't afford, and then get a very old celebrity we don't know to get in the car and then just hope that they die of natural causes. Yes, that's gonna happen. And here's how it's gonna happen. We're gonna use Jeffy's car. We don't have to buy one. We can already use Jeffy's car. Okay. Jeffy, get in here! Hey, Junior, you call me? Yeah, Jeffy, can we use your car to make millions of dollars? Sure. Just don't waste my gas. Thanks, Jeffy. Yep. See, Cody, look, we already got the car, so we're halfway through with the plan. Now we have to do the hard part of getting an old celebrity who's close to death. Let's start naming off old celebrities. Uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy. He's too smart. Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah, Michael Jordan. Well, I mean, I guess he is old. Yeah, and he's worth billions of dollars. Yeah. So if he died, then we'd get trillions of dollars. Can we even get Michael Jordan? No. Yeah. How about Dr. Phil? What, do you know Dr. Phil? No, but we could call his show and say, hey, we have a kid in our car who needs therapy and he'll run and get in the car. Yeah, he likes helping kids, dude. Usually the kids come to him on his show. Okay, well, it doesn't have to be an old celebrity. We could do a young celebrity. Uh, well, that's even harder because how are they going to die of natural causes? This is what we're going to do. We're going to go find a young celebrity, put him in the car. Then we're going to go call someone that we know that hates that celebrity and say, hey, look, don't you hate this celebrity? We know where that celebrity is. So if you possibly want to kill them, they're parked right here. Well, Junior, now we're back to our original problem of how are we going to get a young celebrity? Okay, has any of us ever met a celebrity? <sighs> well, I met Britney Spears. <gasps> you met Britney Spears? Yeah. No, you haven't. Yes, I did. I have a poster. I'll show you. So you guys look. This is my poster of her, and she signed it, and I have this Barbie of her. So you really met her? Yeah. Do you have a picture? No, she's afraid of photos because she's afraid her soul's going to get trapped in the picture. But still, it's Britney, bitch. It's Britney, bitch. It's Brit. It's Britney, bitch. Okay, so can you call her over and tell her to get in our car? I don't know her, Junior. I'm just a fan of hers, and I definitely can't convince her to die in a car. Junior! What do you want, Dad? Shut up! I need to watch Charlie and Friends in here. My TV's broken. But, Dad, we're plotting and scheming. Look, you can plot and scheme another time. I need to watch this new episode of Charlie and Friends. Ugh. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. <laughs> Man. Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm going to shoot some hoops. Die, hoops! Oh, man. Charlie, you're so hilarious.
serious. I hope you never die. Oh, Chef PB, come here! What do you want, Braxton? I need you to get me some chips and dip. I'm starving. Well, I don't want to get any chips and dip for you. Well, go and get me some chips and dip right now. God! Cody, I have an idea. Follow me to my room. Whisper this to Joseph. Okay, uh, Joseph, Junior has an idea. Let's follow him to his room. What's up, Junior? Okay, I officially know what celebrity we're going to have die in that car. Who? Oh, damn, give me some space, Cody. Yeah, dude, get out of space. God, give him 50 feet. Shit. What? He said he knew. Back up. Okay. Charlie from Charlie and Friends. <gasps> well, I mean, I guess that would be easier, but he's still pretty young. How are we going to get him to die of natural causes? So this is my foolproof plan. So, you are going to call Charlie's manager and say that Charlie got nominated for an award at the Funny Awards. What are the Funny Awards? Some made-up award show that doesn't exist, but he's going to want to go get that award. So, you're going to pull up in front of his house and say that you're his driver, he's going to get in your car, and then Chef Pee-Pee is going to shoot Charlie. Why would he do that? Because, have you seen how my dad treats Chef Pee-Pee when he's watching Charlie? So, Chef Pee-Pee hates Charlie because if Charlie was dead, there wouldn't be any more episodes, my dad wouldn't watch TV anymore, my dad would go get a job, and Chef Pee-Pee would be free. That actually made sense. Yeah, so are we all in? Uh, dude, that's just like a foolproof plan. I'm really feeling it. Oh, man, I love the energy. But, uh, I'm out, dude. Like, I'm not feeling like going to jail today, you know? So, I'm out of here. I respect it, Joseph. Wait, what the hell? Can I be out, too? No, only one friend could be out, and he was out first. What? Nobody told me that. I'm gonna be out every time now. No, whoever says out first is the one who gets to be out. So, now you're still in. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go convince Chef PP to kill Charlie, and I need you to call the manager. Wait, how am I gonna get his number? Just Google it. Okay. Ooh, I'm Braxton. I just gotta have some chips and dip. How about some chips and spit? Three. Yeah. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna stick my wiener in it. Mmm, yeah, yeah, taste that. How about some pee-pee wiener? <laughs> I'm gonna take the chips and dip up there to him and say, here's your pee-pee wiener. He's gonna be like, what? And I'm gonna say, oh, nothing? Walk away laughing. <laughs> yeah, pee-pee wiener eater. <laughs> it's such a freak. Chef pee-pee! What do you want, Junior? I'm trying to make your dad some pee-pee wiener. What? Uh, nothing, never mind. What are you here for? So, do you ever hate working for my dad? Of course, you know that! That's why I'm making pee-pee wiener right now! So, what if I told you, if you killed Charlie from Charlie and Friends, my dad would never watch TV anymore because there would be no more episodes of Charlie and Friends, and then you would be free! That is a genius idea! Oh my god, I should have thought of that a long time ago! But I know I don't know where Charlie is, Junior, so I can't kill him. He could be anywhere on this planet right now. What if I told you I know exactly where he's gonna be? Wait, really? How do you know that? Because I have a friend of a friend who's friends with him. So let me just tell you something. Charlie's gonna be parked in a car that says Jeffy on the side at 2 p.m. tomorrow outside a house. Okay? Okay. So just drive by, mm -hmm. you know, and if you want to, mm -hmm. you could possibly, you know kill him. Okay, bet. Oh, say less. I got this. I can handle this. He's dead to me. I'm not telling you to kill him. That's completely on you. Okay, I think I have the right number. Hello, this is Charlie's agent, Steve Stalberger. Oh, hey, uh, this is Jack Meehoff. Well, Mr. Meehoff, what can I do for you? Well, uh, actually, you just call me Jack Off. That's what everybody else seems to do. Uh, I I'm with the Funny Awards, and Charlie's been nominated for a Funny Award for being so funny. Well, he gets plenty of those. Y yeah, so uh, the award show is tomorrow at 2 p.m., so we're going to send a car over to come and get him. Okay, sounds good. I'll text you his address. Okay, thank you. Wow, that was really easy. Okay, Cody, Chef PP said he's gonna try to kill Charlie. Yeah, and I got Charlie's address. You got the address? Okay, so text the address to Chef PP so he gets the right house. Okay. And also, go pick up Charlie at 2 p.m. Well, I have to pick him up? Yes, Cody! Well, why can't you pick him up? Because I'm the brains of this operation, Cody. Does the brains go everywhere the legs go? Yes. Well, not on this body. The legs are chopped off. So you're gonna go pick up Charlie at 2 p.m. Well, I don't want to get in trouble. Wear a disguise. <sighs> okay. Okay, Junior, I'm at the house. Now what? Honk your horn. Okay. Now what? Uh, hang up your phone. Drivers aren't supposed to be on their phone. <sighs> okay, fine. But honk the horn one more time after you hang up. <sighs> Boss in here, round. Hi, guys. I'm Charlie. <laughs> and what's that noise I hear? Oh, it's a honk. It must be my driver. Man, he's driving me crazy. Who the hell is he talking to? Is he talking to me? Ah, oh, man. Let's go to the car. Wait, now how do I open this thing? Oh. Sir, it's unlocked. Oh, I didn't see the button right here. Silly me. 
Hey, buddy, what's your name? Uh, I'm Cody, I'm your driver. Hi, Cody, I'm Charlie. Where is that laughing coming from? Oh, those are my friends. I have schizophrenia. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good to know. Well, uh, listen, Charlie, I'm taking you to the Funny Awards. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I have heard I'm a funny guy. <laughs> y yeah, so, oh, oh, actually, you know what? I forgot my wallet at home, so I'm gonna go run and grab that real quick. You just stay in the car. Okay, I'll be right here. Uh, sorry, I have to turn the car off. Uh, it's gonna get hot in here. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but I have to save gas. Mmm, I understand. Gas prices have gone up. Yeah, yeah, they have. <clears throat> okay, Junior, he's in the car and I'm making my way to the bushes. When is Chef PB coming to, you know, do it? Uh, he said he's on his way right now. Okay, good. All right, PP, what lick we in the day? So we gotta get this fool named Charlie. He's in the car that says Jeffy on the side of it, but he about to be a stain on the pavement. Stain on the pavement. Wait, wait, does that car say Jeffy on the side of it? Pull up, pull up. <laughs> Jeffy's gonna go cut me some grass. Ooh, it do say Jeffy on the side of it. Ooh, that's our target. Nighty night, bitch. What do you say, young fella? Gah, <laughs> I killed that bitch! What? I shot that hoe! What? Wait, wait, Junior's calling me. What? Hello, Junior, what? What do you want? Uh, is Charlie dead? <laughs> I clipped that fool! <laughs> so he's dead? Yes, I unloaded multiple rounds in him! Yes, he's dead! Okay, thank you, Chef PB. Ha <laughs> ha, you're welcome! Yeah, I clipped that fool! What? I shot that hoe! Ha! <laughs> uh, hello? Okay, Chef PB said he just did it. What? He just said he said he clipped that fool. Well, he must have clipped a different fool because it didn't happen here. Cody, go check on Charlie. He got shot. He did not get shot. I was standing here the whole time. Chef PP said he unloaded multiple rounds. Maybe you weren't paying attention. I would have noticed if somebody shot him while I was standing here. Maybe Chef PP was using a silencer. He wasn't using a silencer. He wasn't here at all. Cody, go check on Charlie. <sighs> okay, fine. Oh, oh, oh God, it's so hot in here. Oh, oh, I must. Oh, air. Oh, oh. Hi, guys, and I'm Charlie, and I'm dying from heat stroke. Help! Get me out! How does this work? Okay, Junior, I'm looking at Charlie, and he's very much alive. Are you sure he's alive? Yes, I'm sure. He's looking right at me. Help me. Wait, what's that noise? It's him screaming, help me. Wait, is he saying help me because he got shot? No, there are no bullet holes on the car. Wait, what's he doing now? Wait, hold on, I think he's dead. From all the gunshots? No, no, let me check. Uh, uh, Charlie, 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 buddy. Oh, God, Junior, I think he's dead. From all the gunshots? No, I think he died of heat stroke because I left him in a hot car. You didn't leave the car on? No, Jeffy said not to waste his gas. Wow, Cody, you just killed Charlie. How do you feel? Well, isn't that what we wanted? Wait, that is what we wanted. Now we can sell the car for millions of dollars. Wait, but who did Chef PB shoot? That's not our problem. Look, call the cops and tell them that you found Charlie dead in the car and we'll get paid. Okay. Hey, sir, you called about a dead body? Oh, yeah, it's Charlie from the famous TV show, Charlie and Friends. Oh, my God, he died? Yeah. Oh, it's okay, Simmons, you can look. There's no blood. Oh, thank God. So what happened? Well, I'm his driver, and I just left the car off while I went inside to use the bathroom, and he wanted to stay in the car, and I told him that was a bad idea, but he just wouldn't listen, so I guess he died of a heat stroke. Oh, that's terrible. And I guess I have to just believe you, because, I mean, there's no way you can get locked inside a car. He could have easily gotten out. Yeah, so whose car is this? Oh, it's mine. Oh, that's okay. You can keep the car. We just need the body, you know. No, there's no need to investigate this further. Oh, that's great, thanks. Okay, Junior, the terrible deed is done. So we can go sell that car for millions of dollars? I just hope the money's worth it. Oh, the money's gonna be worth it, Cody. When you smell a million dollars under that big, fat nose of yours, you're gonna think it's worth it. What do we do now? Okay, well, before we sell the car, let's go watch the news and make sure he's dead. <laughs> Wait, why does this dip taste like wiener? Wiener, you say? Come on, Dad, we gotta turn on the news. But I'm watching Charlie! It's very important. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Charlie, from the hit show Charlie and Friends, has died from an accidental heat stroke in someone's car. He was 28 years old. Oh, not Charlie! My life's over! Let's go sell the car, Cody. Junior, look! The other news! 
breaking news, Jeffy the Friendly Landscaper was brutally mowed down by a random drive-by shooting. The killer was caught down the road celebrating. Here's a picture of his mugshot. He goes by the name of Chef Penis. We also have exclusive footage from the arrest, and we will show you that now. Sir, sir, did you just shoot the man in the car over there? Yeah, I shot that hole. I bodied his ass. He's six feet deep, you feel me? Gun in a car and all. You can have it. What? Wow, you made that really easy for me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, no. Wait, Cody, how did Chef Pee get the wrong car? I don't know. What address did you text him? Uh, let me check. Oh no, Junior, I sent him the wrong address number. So you got Shabby arrested? No, he got himself arrested because he did a drive-by. Okay, now we have to bail him out of jail. How much is his bail? Uh, let me look it up. Uh, ten million dollars. I'm surprised he even has any. So now we have to sell the car for at least twenty million to be able to bail him out. Oh, man. Okay, let's go sell the car. Come on, Cody. All right, Cody, we sold the car. Yeah, we got $10,000 for it. But the Kelly Blue Book on that car was only 5000 so we basically robbed that man. He only gave us this so we would go away. We needed $20 million, and two people are dead, and one of our friends is going to prison and probably getting the death penalty. But hey, $10,000, right? Okay, Cody, I'll admit it. This idea was stupid. Yeah, yeah, it is stupid, Junior. I wish you would have told me. I tried so hard. And got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter, because two people are dead. Well, look, it's not too late to fix this. Yes, it is. Oh, no, look, we can go to Chef Pee Pee's trial and tell the judge that he didn't mean to shoot that guy. He meant to shoot someone else. It doesn't matter. He still shot someone. <sighs> you want to eat some chips and dip? Yeah, sure. I hear they taste like wiener. Order, 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 order. Chef Pee Pee, you are being accused of, and proudly admitted to, shooting a man in cold blood while he was simply sitting in his car. Why? I'm sorry, Judge. I thought I was killing someone famous. Oh, he was famous, all right. He was just known as the nicest old man in our town. He waved at everybody. I'm sorry, Judge. I thought I was killing Charlie. Please have mercy. Oh, don't beg me for mercy. Beg God for mercy on your butthole in prison after I sentence you to life in prison. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Judge. We got the autopsy report back. The old man didn't die from any gunshot wounds. He died of a heart attack. I mean, probably because he was scared because of the gunshots. But still, Chef Pee Pee didn't kill anybody. Well, this changes everything. The law says if the bullets did not hit, you must acquit. So, Chef Pee Pee, I sentence you to freedom. Just don't go around shooting guns at people anymore. Especially not the elderly. You might spook them. Oh, thank you, Judge. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, you're a real one. Guess who they let out of jail? Ah! How? Because they can't hold a real one back. No, really, how? Look, the bullets never hit him. He must have got scared and had a heart attack or something. I still feel like you caused that. Nah, he had to be old, like 97 or something. Ooh, chips. Mm. Wait, why does it taste like pee-pee? Oh, I stuck my pee-pee in there. What, really? Where's my car? from Charlie and Friends is not dead. Apparently he fell asleep in the car and he's a very deep sleeper, so he is alive. Bye, have a beautiful time. Chirp.